Hi, welcome to the AWC October 2021 news and announcements. This video also marks the one year of AWC going live on YouTube. I'll talk more about it after the announcements. So I'll cover Good Smile as well as One Fest 34, some Final Fantasy and Pies figures, and maybe some extra ones as well. Hi, right, let's go. Let's start with the pop-up parade announced at the One Fest. First up, we have the color version for the Jujutsu Tyson for Gojo and Nobola, looking pretty great. There's also Fat Time Out of Wind kind of Slime pop-up parade. We have Rimuru, Mulum, and Sisu. Not painted yet. We have some villains for the Mahir Academia. We have Tombula. We also have the last Ruby character, Yang, in color. Woohoo! Can't wait for that one. Parade open for pre-order. We have the Hashila pop-up parade. We have Higiyu and Shinobu. Both of them pretty great. But for these are due out in Feb for US release. We also have Megumi from Jujutsu Kaisen open for pre-order. This will be due March, as well as Himeko. Alright, let's move on to the special items. Some Final Fantasy. We have the Aerith in the dress. Wow, looking stunning. So this is the scale, as well as the play at Kai. Wasn't expecting that one. Pretty excited for both of these. But the prices are pretty high, so I haven't really decided if I'm gonna get these yet or not. There has been some pretty cool Mega House gem figures. We have here the Tanjiro Nesuko. Man, yeah, that one's super expensive. As you expect from Mega House, I guess. As well as a Misato Gao figure as well. Man, it looks pretty awesome. It has Pen Pen. But the price, oh. But these items won't be due until mid-2022. I guess with the Demon Slayer Season 2 out with the Mugen Train art of Wengoku and Akasa. It looks like it'll be great to set them up as set pieces. And onto the prize figures. One more exciting one is there's a Minato Vibration Star in his ninja outfit. Looking pretty cool. There was a whole stack of Jujutsu Tyson movie Zero figures. They have Megumi, Nobola, Yuta, also who this character is. And also there's a Toge. I know, I know there are a lot of fans of this character. For Demon Slayer, there's a Grand Dista in Osuke. Arms and arms are really, really easy to see. So happy they fixed that. There's also a Yuta figure. Looks like they're doing all the side characters for this figure range now. There's also a Moonum Relax figure set. And there's another figure series. There's been some new Jujutsu SPM from Sega. And here a Yuji and Megumi with cool effects on them. Phew, that was quite a lot of figures. Alright, on to the celebration. I really can't believe how far I've come. And I really just want to thank you so much. First off, to all my friends and family who were they're doing the initial stages, they're supporting me, watching videos, giving me feedback, as well as you now, viewers. Came along throughout the different parts of the journey. Why don't you comment below how you found A Watson channel? What was the first video that you watched? Love to hear those stories. Really enjoy seeing the comments. Thank you so much for liking the videos. Subscribe me as well. And in part of the celebration, I'm going to do a one year room tour of all of my display. That's all I spend that quick start figure collecting guy out. <laughs> all right. Thanks for your support. Much appreciated. Catch you next video. Bye.